Well, the gospel is the good news that your relationship with God, which is broken, can be restored through trust and faith in Jesus Christ for what he has provided on our behalf. And beyond that, this is very important, you will get the means by which to live life eternally and the creation which has been disrupted will be totally restored. So there's an individual role in this and there is a cosmic dimension to what the gospel is about. Normally when we use the term, we only think about the individual element. But I tell people, if you wanna think about the gospel in its most basic form, it's a, at an individual level, it's about forgiveness of sins plus the gift of the spirit equals eternal life and equals the hope of the gospel. Now there's a passage here that's very important. It's in Romans 1.16. Paul says, I am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God unto salvation. That's actually a very important text. Most people read it this way. This is how I read it for years. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the salvation of God to the Jew first and to the Greek. And I didn't know what the word power was doing in that verse, but it's actually the word that Paul is focused on. And then one day it dawned on me, read Romans like a story rather than as an epistle. And here's the story. In Romans 1 to 3, we were dead in our trespasses and sins. Sin had separated us from God. We were dead. Now ask a really technical question. How much power does a dead person have? Answer, zero. Then in the end of chapter 3 and chapter 4, we are justified by placing our faith in the work of Christ. We are made new. We are brought to new life. We are a new creation. We are given the power, and by here power it means capability. The capability to know God, to walk with God, to reflect the character of God. And then in Romans 6 to 8, the idea is because the Spirit indwells you, you can walk with God, know God, and reflect the character of God. And then all the creation groans for the reestablishment of the full presence of God across the creation one day. That story is the gospel. The gospel of the kingdom is basically the same thing. Uh, there's no difference. The gospel of the kingdom is the idea that there, that, that, this rule that God is reestablishing is run by the one that he has appointed to administer this salvation, Jesus Christ, and the one who has provided for that salvation through his sacrifice on the cross. And of course, that's Jesus as well. So the gospel of the kingdom and the gospel are one and the same. That's very important. There are some older forms of dispensationalism that would distinguish between the two and say the gospel of the kingdom is strictly about the hope of the millennial rule. But it's, it actually includes everything that Jesus Christ brings for God's people.